All right, we're gonna do some part two here. Good, how you doing, man? Good. Yeah, we do. Positives. Yeah, I'd like to shoot Pete Call for that year. I'm ready, man. Whatever. Oh, sand, boy. I know, they're like little dragon things. Oh, sand, though. That's obviously, you couldn't see them if they were under the sand, so. <laughs> ah, the sound of crickets. Isn't that relaxing? <laughs> Profit. 
Sweet. Been a corn under Nelson. That's my buddy. I love the gray pants. So like this one's a gray pant, but he's a little different. That's a hybrid. It's a cross between a pattern of the Sarai and that Baron Nelson. He has a skull on his head. Yeah. You can call him skulls. He looks up and says he's got skulls. It's like the Punisher skull. Yeah. I didn't even know that until she took a picture of him and I was looking at the pictures that she took of him. Wow, it's like the Punisher skull. Yeah. That's pretty cool. And that's when I noticed that he had a skull on his head. I'm going to walk around with him. So she nicknamed him Skull. He's really friendly. <laughs> he's cool. So the point with him was he's a breeder? He's huh? one of your breeders? Like it's a female, yeah. I just got her yeah, oh, from a friend of mine in uh, Joe's Snake Shack, Moore Park. Apparently he's gone through some financial yeah, difficulties and he's dumping this whole collection of stuff. Um, I've been looking. He's got an albino. I like the king snakes because they have like a, a common looking face. Kind of and I've never seen an albino tape go through before. Wow. That's nice. Back into his house. Back. He did go back into his house. Yeah. Oh, he went right back into his house automatically. He's trained. That's awesome. He went right back into his cage. Funny looking frog with big beady eyes. They'll eat each other if one side is smaller. They can still try even to go around speeding. Sorry? Yeah. Those neat little guys, though, they, they have a tremendous appetite. Yeah, just write it like it's more of you know, somewhere here, your name. And uh, what I what I've been feeding up when I when I used to live in the east they used oak leaves and not fresh ones, dead ones off the ground that have been on the ground for months. Calcium helps in there, like for babies, it's more particular. Like I'll sprinkle reptile calcium on top, um, uh, or you can do high calcium vegetables, like romaine lettuce is a lot of calcium, so that's a pretty good. Um, and, I, and with vegetables, I try to go organic. Um, you know, we haven't left. Pictures. I guess a lot of people just don't have much for sale this time of the year because I don't either. Especially yeah, sure. Still too early. You're 
do the website for them too? You gonna you just Yeah, I do the website as well. Oh the the Rocky Mountain Reptile Expo one? Yeah. Yeah. I think yeah. she had more pictures on there and I told her she should do what I really liked about the Repticon one was on the home page, as you scroll down, it showed the vendors there, and you could click on the little logo thing there and go to the vendor's website. I really like that on the Repticon site. I'll have to check that out. I thought we had it that way for the uh, vendors here. You know, really, her, it doesn't seem really updated a lot, you know, and, and, and you have, like, the list of people with, like, emails and stuff like that. I just like the way the Repticon one worked where it was, it was like on the home page. You had to scroll down. I think pretty much it was on the home page. Or maybe we clicked the vendors or something like that. But, okay. you know, it had the big banners. Like, it had, you know, you could send in your, your banner you wanted or something like that. And, you know, it was like your logo. And okay. you click it and it went right to the website and stuff. And, you know, so. I'll have her send something out because I, um, I can put everybody's logo the same way and have the, have the same kind of a setup. I think, I think when you signed up with Repticon, the, the, Send in your logo and they link it for you or something. I see. Okay. I'll have to take a peek at that. Yeah, we can totally spiff up the uh, website any way we want because I am the webmaster. <laughs> <laughs> so I will make it look how people want it to look. All right, we'll take a break and. Uh, and we will uh, come back again in a little bit for part three.